Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the CSU Ag Innovation Summit in 2017. It's a pleasure to have you with us today and I'll, I'll be honest, I was a little shocked. I've never had the voice from above speak to me in quite the way it has today. But you know, it's that kind of inspiration, those kinds of ideas that are really going to draw us together as we talk about agricultural innovation and really seek to create a community and catalyze a conversation about where we can go, the investments that we can make, the resources that might be available to us to really drive change as it's needed and as is the opportunity for agriculture. So thank you for joining us today. Joining us during a, a very important week on the Colorado State University campus, this is Ag Week which uh, takes a nod, if you, if you look out over on the foothills there, to that A that sits on the hill that reminds us of that great agricultural heritage and the land-grant university mission that we have here. You know, innovation's been part of agriculture since that very beginning back in 1870. And the idea that we can move forward, that we can gather knowledge, that we can generate new ideas from questions that folks have, that our stakeholders have, just like you, the idea that we can take that, we can translate that, and we can set the stage for the next generation is one that we hold very dear. This week during Ag Week, we welcomed our students back on Tuesday, brought some of our brightest minds together. You're going to get a chance to see them, some of our very best students, whether that be Brittany or Rachel or whether that be Wilson, who will be up with us. Hey, Wilson, good to have you here. Introducing some of our guests and spending some time as MCs within our sessions. So a very important part of what we do. We'll have the Ag Innovation Summit the next two days, and then on Friday, we'll have a chance to be able to recognize some of our very best leaders in the industry of agriculture, whether that be at our fall gather, our livestock leader, or our distinguished alumni for the Department of Soil and Crop Sciences. And then Saturday, of course, is the best barbecue you can get in any college football game. That's Ag Day that we'll have on Saturday right outside of the Lori Student Center here, and then we'll go over to the football game. So a week that really celebrates agriculture, some of the best that we have, and some of our knowledge. I really appreciate you joining us today so that we might be able to engage in a conversation that will help to take us forward thinking about agriculture innovation. Some important folks uh, with us today, uh, all of the individuals here that uh, work in industry, are innovators and work in business, our scientists like Howard Shapiro is here with us today, uh, folks that, that are great thought leaders among their commodity organizations like Bill Hamrick is here. And I just want to make sure that we recognize the godfather of Colorado Ag well, Don Brown, I don't know if you, if you mind if I call you the godfather of Colorado agriculture. <laughs> Don Brown is with us today. He's the, the ag commissioner as well, working within that agency structure. You know, I think it's a little bit tough to drive policy in this country these days, but we seem to find a lot of agreement around agriculture. And we have representatives from Senator Gardner's office, Senator Bennett's office, and from Congressman Buck's office. So thank you for, for joining us as well. It takes a lot, of, a lot of individuals, though, to drive this conversation and catalyze it, and we have some terrific sponsors who've helped us. You'll be able to see those sponsors on the screen. Colorado Livestock Association, Bill Hamrick here, uh, representing the Colorado Livestock Association. Thank you for stepping forward early in this ag innovation process uh, with your support behind what, what we're doing. I very much appreciate that. Also get great support from the Vice President for Research's office, Alan Rudolph is here. You'll see him a little bit today as they step forward and really talk about the generation of knowledge and the great innovations that are taking place. Vice President of Engagement, uh, who heads up Extension, as well as our CSU Water Center, they've been part of the sponsorship as well. Cathay Reynolds is here. And I'll look, Cathay, there you are. Uh, thank you for, for the supporting this as well. And of course, the Colorado State University College of Agricultural Sciences is one of the key sponsors for this event. So, convening this conversation, bringing us all together, we have a, a terrific program in mind, but truthfully, it's your ideas that are gonna move us forward. So I need to ask a favor of you. I need for you to think about the conversations you'd like to have, the ideas that you have over this next day and a half, so we can pull those together and take our next steps forward. We want you to engage in lots of conversations in this space, and we've thought about some unique ways that we might be able to represent that. In fact, if you just look to, to my right, Karina Branson is over there. Karina is, a, is really a graphical recorder who will take some of the very, very best ideas and record those for us on those four by eight sheets. She'll be working as we go along today and throughout the day, taking those ideas and transcribing them for us, and we'll refer back to those throughout our summit. Karina is particularly interested in hearing folks talk about the ag innovation ecosystem. So when you think about an ecosystem, it's all those important bodies, uh, those important organisms, those important ideas, and how they interact with each other in those relationships. She'd like to find out where you fit in that ag innovation ecosystem. So as you have a break today or you get the chance, please walk over to Karina and chat with her a little bit about what the ag innovation ecosystem means to you. I think that's a way for us to pull together our narrative. 
You know, our narrative will come from some of those great ideas. You'll have questions from some outstanding speakers that we'll have today. You might want to take a few moments and jot those questions down on these index cards so that we might be able to share them. We'll have folks that will walk around, pick up these index cards, and we'll route those up to the stage for each of your speakers. So a little bit on the logistics of how we can communicate in that sense. A bit about logistics, too. Everything is going to be in this room in the Lori Student Center during the day until we take a nice little walk over to CSU's brand new football stadium. Uh, we'll get the chance to be over there for our roundtable event this night. So we'll have some folks that will be able to lead you, lead you right over and do that. And just so that we have the chance to stay on time, let me see where I've... You know, this is a College of Agriculture that's sponsoring this. When you hear the cowbell, what does that make you think of? <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. You know what it reminds me of this cowbell is that lead cow. That lead cow leading us to, to the greener pasture, to the next idea and the places that we'll go. So we'll use the cowbell to signal that we're about to start and we want to reconvene again. So if you hear the cowbell, that'll be part of the logistics that, that, that we'll cover and that we'll have for us. For those of you not oriented to this beautiful room in the Lori Student Center and this beautiful student center that we have, if you'd like to use the facilities, if you go out the exit, down to, your, to, to my left, and then in either direction are restrooms and uh, facilities that, that you can make, make use of. Boy, we're really looking forward to having you here as we generate those ideas, those moments, and be able to move things forward. So on behalf of Colorado State University, our 33,000 students, all of our faculty and staff, welcome, welcome, welcome. I look forward to working with you. One thing that I think is important is, is that we have aha moments, those moments of inspiration. And I'm about to introduce someone whose career has been built around that idea, that there's epiphanies that you can create, either by when you lecture, because he's a distinguished professor of marketing, or by when you lead teams. Uh, in fact, he was the, the dean of the College of Business for 14 years, where he put together teams that created aha moments and epiphanies for the students, for the staff, and the faculty. Or whether that's for the entire state of Colorado, you know, it was Governor Hickenlooper who recognized that ability to generate those aha moments and those epiphanies when he made him the very first, very first chief innovation officer and created that Colorado uh, Office of, of the Innovation Network. He's now our Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences and the Director of our Ag Experiment Station. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Dean Ajay Menon to kick off our session. Good morning. It's more coffee out there, so if you need to wake up. Um, first things, there is a lesson here for me. I should coordinate the, the speech a bit better with James Pritchard, because a lot of what I was going to talk about, he seems to have covered. And we should have also. Um, coordinated so this aha moment that he talks about could have been deleted from his presentation as well. <laughs> right. I've been at Colorado State University for 26, 27 years. Came here for a two-year stint in 1991. I have never seen that A as pretty as he sits. It has never given me context in a manner that it gives me today at this moment. It brings Colorado State University and this event all together in a real nice nutshell. She reminds us as to why Colorado State University was established. And I'm, I'm not in the speech. I'm, I was sitting there looking at that A, and I'm going, how pretty that A is on this day. So, uh, <clears throat> but back to my remarks here. You know, usually you begin uh, your thanks at the end, or you say your thanks at the end of the speech. But I think what happens, we rush through our thank yous often. Let me begin by acknowledging three individuals who are responsible for this event. Paula Mills, you have heard, uh, you have received emails from her often. Where's Paula? Paula's outside maybe? Paula's standing in the back there. Uh, she, we brought her from the Office of Engagement and she really has been 
the guiding point for this whole, uh, for this whole uh, uh, conversation that's going to unfold here. Um, Malia Michaels, Ma Malia is out here. And Malia, again, a, gr a student of mine back in the business school, brought her here, and uh, she's working with us. I did want to acknowledge the two of them, especially for what they have done in the last six months. Because up until about six or seven months, we weren't sure we were going to do this, this uh, summit. And I said, no, we're going to do it. They said, we've got only six months. I said, no, we're going to do it. And these guys pulled it off. So I just want to say thank you all. And of course, the cheerleader in a suit, James Pritchard. James has really been the force guiding these folks. On our day. So, so now, uh, back in 2013, there was an article in the Atl Atl Atlantic Monthly. And Atl Atlantic Monthly assembled a group of historians, venture capitalists, and scientists to identify the greatest innovations since the wheel, which they basically pitched at the year 6000 AD. And it was easy for us all to see that ag, agriculture, and innovation has had a long-term love affair. Going back to history, some of the earliest innovations of our times are rooted in agriculture. Whether we are talking about the cotton gin, or the thresher and the binder, to the tractor, not to forget the refrigerator, or nitrogen fixation that helped with fertilizers, the Green Revolution, and more recently, if you were to look at, not part of the top 50, they had the rubber tires, the GPS, CAT scan, CAT scan which was designed for medical research being used for food safety these days, that same technology. Plant breeding, drones, CRISPR-Cas, all shaping the way in which food and agriculture is produced in this country. Okay. And so as you reflect through all of these innovative breakthroughs, you will note that when you try to define innovation, by the way, innovation, you ask experts to define innovation, you will not get two experts to talk, define innovation the same way. But you start looking at the thread of the definitions, you will realize that innovation is about creating something new. Innovation is really about responding to change in a creative way. Innovation is the creation of the new or the rearranging of the old in a new way. It is about fresh thinking that creates value. In parallel, agriculture has been central to our nation's history. Look at the westward migration that took place back in the 1700s and early 1800s. You will see that it was rooted in the need for more fertile land, for great, better soil, so that people can feed the growing populace. That's where it first started. You start looking at it. So agriculture is also part of our na nation's history, but it's also part of the geopolitics of our times. Food and famine and feeding people have been the source for political instability and also the source for global power in a loose way. So as we continue that tradition, so, so we continue that tradition here at Colorado State University with our focus on innovation and agriculture. In our college, with a vision for unquestioned global preeminence in agritech and agribiome as it impacts the security and the sustainability of our food system to enhance the well-being of our animals, plant, and human ecosystem, we are beginning in the college to align our human talent and our financial resources to address the key scientific breakthroughs that is needed in this space. And it's also important to note, we are focused on training the next generation of workforce that is demanded from, uh, from industry. 
So this summit is part of that critical strategy for us. The goal here is to convene and connect interesting and important people so that we can make commitments to work alongside each other to build Colorado as the hub for innovation in agriculture. Addressing any key challenges of our time as we do, whether it be safety, the security, or the sustainability of our food system, requires the government, the civic society, and corporations to come together. In all of the big challenges or the grand challenges of our times, you need what was termed at one point the golden triangle to come together to address this. It cannot be done by any one entity. So this summit aims to bring key voices from these three major sectors. From the former Secretary of Agriculture, to the Chairman and CEO of ADM, to creative entrepreneurs, scientific minds of our times, civic leaders, leaders from the National Western Stock Show, those from the world of startups and the capital markets. It is my hope that Colorado and Colorado State will continue our commitment to lead the way to find path-bending solutions to the challenges to feeding a growing population against a backdrop of natural constraints and, sadly, a more dangerous world. I do seek one commitment from you. The commitment I seek and almost as a pledge that I seek from you is that you are engaged in the conversation. Right. I want you to help me build alliances for this partnership to address the grand challenges of our times. I want you to allow us to hear all voices that shape the dialogue and help us all grow in our thinking and approach to innovation. So with that, I welcome you. I hope you enjoy the next day and a half, and I look forward to your active participation. Thank you all for coming. Let's have a great summit.